greeting children this is mcq based question and answers from your second poem an elementary school classroom in a slum all the 20 questions are related with the poetic devices used in the poem an elementary school classroom in a slum at least one question can be appeared from this 20 MCQs. So you can surely score one mark for poetic devices in your coming board examination. So don't miss even a single question. You have to write down all the questions and their options. Let us move on to the questions. Identify the poetic device in far, far from gusty waves. Look at the poetic device of far, far from. Assonance, repetition, alliteration, metaphor. Out of these four, you can find more than one poetic device in far, far from. The phrase far, far from. So, when the repetition of a consonant sound is in a phrase or in a line, it is called alliteration. It is called alliteration. Another device of far is repeated. Far, far. So, repetition is also there. So, the right option out of this is number 3. B and C. It is a repetition and alliteration. So the right option here is option number 3. It can be asked with any one of these like repetition or alliteration also. Question number 2. Identify the literary device in like rootless weeds. The options are simile, metaphor, symbol and assonance. We know one thing that when something is compared with another using the words like or as, it is clearly a poetic device of simile. So simile is the right option here. Look at question number 3. What literary device is used in the Paper seeming boy. The paper seeming boy. Simile, metaphor, alliteration, hyperbole. Two literary devices you can see in the phrase the paper seeming boy. One is the boy is said as paper. So metaphor. Metaphor is Another way of comparing things without using like or as. So, metaphor is the one poetic device. And another is hyperbole. It is hyperbolic. Can you compare a boy with a paper? This simply means that the boy is as thin as a paper. So, that over exaggerated comparison. It is called hyperbole. So B and D are the right options. So answer is 4. Look at question number 4. Slums as big as doom. Identify the poetic device here. We have already said that. When we compare using like or as, it has the poetic device of simile. So simile is the right option here. Slums as big as doom. Look at question number five. Whose language is the sun? Identify the literary device here. Whose language is the sun? So here it is not hyperbole, maybe metaphor, not simile, not symbol. So it is a metaphor. Language is said that the sun. So 
metaphor is the poetic device used here look at question number six break oh break identify the literary device in this phrase assonance no consonance no metaphor no alliteration what is alliteration the beginning sound of consonants in a particular phrase or line is called alliteration so break or break open this b sound is repeated so the consonant sounds repetition is called alliteration look at the next question choose the right poetic device used here like bottle bits on stones like bottle bits on stones simile yes because it is started with like like or as is used for comparison it is a simile not a metaphor then alliteration yes alliteration is also there because b sound is repeated in the beginning of two words that is alliteration metonymy no so a and c the third is the right option look at question number eight what is the poetic device in the phrase civilized dome riding all cities personification maybe simile no synecdoche no assonance no. what is uh, what is this personification look at this civilized dome riding all cities riding is a human activity when human qualities are attributed to inanimous things it is called personification so personification is the poetic device used here civilized dome riding all cities question number nine recognize the poetic diction in the usage his eyes live in a dream his eyes live in a dream synecdoche maybe metaphor no fantasy no apostrophe no what is this synecdoche when a part eyes can't see this dream so when a part of something represents the whole it is called synecdoche so here the eye stands for the person's whole sense and body so the poetic device used here is synecdoche look at question number 10 avoiding the world its world choose the right option from the given below to show its literary device the options are metonymy synecdoche repetition alliteration and we have to analyze this avoiding the world its world one thing is clear the word world is repeated so repetition is there and another is alliteration option d the sound w is repeated in consecutive two words the repetition of consonant sound and one more literary device we can find in this phrase awarding the world its world that is metonymy here the world the name the world is used to represent another that is the privileged class the privileged class so when one name is used to represent another we call it metonymy so the right option for this question is the last one a c and d that is the right option come to question number 11 shakespeare is wicked what figurative language you can find here metonymy metaphor symbol oxymoron it is not a metaphor or symbol or oxymoron it is a clear device of metonymy because the name shakespeare is used to represent his 
romantic world. So one name is used here to represent another, the romantic world of Shakespeare. So metonymy is used in this phrase. Look at question number 12. Surely Shakespeare is wicked. Here we added one more word that is surely. We have already analyzed Shakespeare is wicked, but now surely Shakespeare is wicked. When surely Shakespeare is wicked, alliteration is there because the consonant S is repeated in at least two consecutive words. So alliteration is there. Then metonymy that is already there. We have already discussed oxymoron no metaphor not. So A and B third option is the right one. Look at question number 13. Gold sands. The phrase gold sands. What is the literary device used here? Metonymy? Yes. Antithesis? No. Synecdoche? No. Simile? No. Here gold. This gold is used to represent another name. That is the golden rays of the sun. That gives the sands the golden color. So metonymy is the right option there. Look at question number 14. Gusty waves, the pepper seeming boy with the rat's eyes, sour cream walls, all their futures painted with the fog, sealed in with lead sky, from fog to endless night, their time and space are foggy slum, whose language is the sun, with ships and the sun and love tempting them to steal, cramped holes, all these phrases, which poetic device is used in these expressions? This is the question. So, simile, no, simple, no, metaphor, maybe, oxymoron, no. So, metaphor is used in all these expressions. Gusty waves, then paper seeming boy with the rat's eyes, sour cream walls, all their future is painted with fog, sealed in with a lead sky, from fog to endless night. So this type of comparison, something is said to be another. That type of comparison is called metaphor. Without using like or as, the comparison is done here. So in all these expressions, one of it can be asked for identifying the literary device or altogether it can be asked. So the literary device used here is metaphor for all these phrases. Come to question number 16. Reciting a father's gnarled disease, sore cream, lead sky, which figurative language is used commonly in these phrases? Personification? No. Pun? Maybe. Oxymoron? No. Synecdoche? No. Pun is the literary device. We can see in these usages. Reciting a father's knowledge disease. Sour cream. Lead sky. All these words reciting sore and lead. Which has been we pronounce has two meanings. An alternate meaning we get without seeing the real spelling. That is why we call it as pun. Come to the next question. Question number 17. Like rootless weeds, the hair torn. These children wear skins peeped through by bones and the spectacles of steel with the mended glass like bottle bits on stones. That is the second line. Their maps with the slums as big as doom. Shut up their lives like catacombs. Which common rhetoric device is used in these lines? These four expressions like rootless weeds. These children wear skins peeped through by bones and the spectacles of steel with the mended glass like bottle bits on stones. Their maps with the slums as big as then shut upon their lives like 
so wherever the word like and as is implied we can definitely say that simile is the literary device used there so these are the places from elementary school classroom we can find the use of simile so a is the right option look at question number 18 build flowery tyrolese valley give the correct rhetorical device pun no rhyme no climax maybe metaphor no so what is climax when we use words in an ascending order in its alphabetical order look at this b f t and v in an ascending order of words build flowery tyrolese valley b f t v when we use words in an ascending order of alphabetic order we call it climax in narration we use another climax in drama and films but that is not in poetry poetry we use the ascending order of words that is climax look at the next question break or oh, break open till they break the town which figure of speech is used here apostrophe alliteration a repetition and antithesis break or oh, break open one is clear repetition is there then alliteration is there till they break the town that is apostrophe break or oh, break open so three poetic devices are here apostrophe means when you address an audience an imaginary audience imaginary audience it is called apostrophe so apostrophe is used here at the same time alliteration and repetition so the right option is third one look at the last question with the ships and the sun and the love which poetic technique is used in this phrase poly syndeton no syndeton right metaphor no symbolism no. so what is syndeton Syndeton here simply means repetition of conjunction and or but or still like conjunctions if it is repeated in a line it is called syndeton and more than one that uh, conjunction is repeated we can call it poly syndeton but here only one conjunction of and is repeated so syndeton is the right option this is the first part of MCQs from elementary school classroom in a Sula. For more CBC related material, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Thank you for watching till the end.